Yo guys, it's Ricky. Hey, do you want to talk about camera bags? Let's do it. Okay, I've wanted to review some bags. I've only ever really did one review, and that was a video bag, but this is more of a personal carry bag review, if that makes any sense at all. In other words, this isn't for people that are on movie sets or something like that. These bags are something for your more urban photographers, videographers, uh, guys that do YouTube videos, girls that do YouTube videos, you know, just, uh, I don't want to say because professionals use these bags that I'm about to show you, so don't get me wrong. Sort of a different constituent that uh, is used on sets of movies, and I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. I love all kinds of bags. I travel for a living, so being organized is a huge thing. You, you have what's called a junk bunk. It's usually one of the top bunks in the tour bus that everybody throws their bags up there. And if you can't easily get to your bag and work out of it, so when you have stuff that opens like this and you're taking up the whole hallway and you got a road crew guy stepping on top of your shit, um, it gets frustrating. So you want bags that you can actually work with. And what I'm going to talk about today are bags that you can actually take on tour. And meaning if you can take it on tour, then you can take it on your everyday travels. Uh, and that's where I think I can help the average guy or girl that is into video or hybrid photography, meaning video and hybrid on the same camera, especially without any further ado. This bag that I'm going to show you, first of all, is a bag called by a company called Wandered. And this is a Provoke bag. And I took this bag to Sturgis, and I sent it back when we were in, I think we made it to Denver, and then I shipped it back. Now, the only reason I shipped it back is because uh, it just didn't have a great way to tie it down to the back of the motorcycle. It was just easier to make space in, in the saddlebags that are on the bike already. It just didn't make sense. Just put them in a cube, and the cube I continue to use, and that I'm going to show you in just a second. This thing is pretty amazing. First of all, it's made out of this like tarpaulin ballistic nylon. It's got great zippers. Nothing is broken on this. There's a guy named Chase Reeves that did a deep dive on this. He's another YouTuber. I don't know the guy, uh, but he does a great job. So you can check out his stuff too. Uh, you, you open it like this. Okay, this is how you load this bag up. Let me make sure I get this on video over here. So there's these cubes, and these cubes you can put all your photo gear in. Now the only complaint I have about this bag at all is that this stuff feels a little bit flimsy to me. Now it makes it nice and light, so there's that side to it. But what you do is you put your camera gear in here, you, put, you roll this up, get it out of the way, and I'm going to try to do this quickly. And once you do that, you just need to close this from then on out. So you do this and you close this bag. And double zip it or single zip it the whole way around. Inside here, there's space for all sorts of stuff as well. Like, um, got everything else. Your chargers, you know, a small tripod, right? Like one of these guys. You could stick in there, extra cards, you know, microphone, uh, that sort of stuff. And so what's kind of cool is once you close this up and you zip it, then you can actually access your camera right here from the side. And again, all this stuff, I'm doing this very quickly, but all, all of this, uh, Velcros, I don't know if you can see that, this Velcros to hold all this in place, 
And you could actually keep your cards in here or battery, which is kind of quick access. So this is what you put in here. I can give you an example. This is just a little Sony RX100, but you can stick that guy in here, and it's, I have it set up where it's way too big for that. But you can put that guy in here and everything that goes along with it. And that way, if you're out when you're with your backpack, and you're like, you can pull this guy to the side and go, man, I really need to get that shot of that bird right now. I got it. And that's what that's for. Pretty cool. So, there's tons of pockets on this. Number one, uh, on the other side of this, there is a place for a tripod. Or a water bottle, whatever you, you like. It's, expands so it gets a little bit wider. What do I have in here? Oh, dude wipes. Why would I have dude wipes in here? Well, in case I'm out shooting and I gotta take a <laughs> Then this works for a larger tripod. Bam. Zip that sucker so it's nice and tight. This is also a pocket for whatever you want to put in it. Put an iPad in here uh, or a laptop. There's a spot up here that is like all nice and soft. You can put your sunglasses in there or whatever. And then again, you know, this opens the whole front. But there's a spot here for specifically, by the way, that I didn't get thoroughly into when I had it open before, that is really for a laptop or an iPad. So you can put it in here as well. So this works pretty darn nice. And it's light. I don't know the exact weight of this, and it also, of course, is going to depend on what you put in it, but it feels light. I mean, this thing is like, woo, easy breezy. It also has, you know, these buckles that, and they're adjustable, they move around, and they hold it close to your chest. That way, all the weight isn't on your shoulders. This bag, I do recommend. They have a couple other sizes. This is the larger of the two sizes. This is magnetic, so it holds the handles. And like I said, on a tour bus, <laughs> you want to yank this. On an airplane, you want to be able to yank this out of the upper compartment, you know? I kind of wish it had one on the other side too in case you put it in this way, uh, but it doesn't. There's also a secret little um, area down here that uh, you can put stuff as well. And then there's two loops right here. There's actually more to this bag than meets the eye. Right here, there's uh, another little stash pocket, and you can keep your keys in there. Isn't that cute? Keys. Keys to the tour bus. Now, this is waterproof-ish. I wouldn't take it outside in the serious rain. Oh, there's one other pocket I didn't tell you guys about. This one. This, you can put your passport in here. That's neato. This is a Wandered Provoke. And it comes in uh, a few different colors. Although I just like the look of the green. It just looks like outdoorsy. And I'm gonna look outdoorsy. Next up, and I have a camera in this at the moment. This is by a company called Hexbrand and this is a Raven Medium DSLR kit. This is a more, now I, I just want you to know, I do know the owner of Hex. He is not sponsoring this video. Uh, he gave me this bag to use and try out. I'm happy to say I really, really like it. Now, this is a different animal. This is a dedicated bag. The Wandered Provoke, you could pull that cube out and just use it as a regular backpack if you wanted to. This is a little more dedicated to photography, uh, and it doesn't have a cube that you can take in and out. It's a little more straightforward, a little more simpler, uh, it is durable. There's something that's just awesome about the simplicity of this. Number one thing that I like about this bag is that it is super comfortable. This padding here is amazing. Amazing, amazing padding right here. When I open this up, and I have my Fuji XTC in here, which is one of my favorite cameras, this is my whole Fuji setup. I have everything in here. And these all come out and move around and you can do anything you want with them. So as you can see, I have a few lenses in here. I have the camera, of course. Um, I have my hoods, lens here, lens here, 
um, a place for my cards, a cable. I have an external monitor because the only thing I don't like about the XTC is it doesn't have a flip screen. And this Canon EOS R does, and that's why I'm using it to vlog with. Can you hear me talking, Fuji? Uh, it even has its own little mic. Aha! This is where that other mic was. I need this right now. So I have all my stuff in there, and it's solid. This is nice, solid stuff. Remember I told you the Wandered, it felt like that cube was a little flimsy? But this one is solid. The other part is this. These are some, I'm just going to go through some of the pockets here. This is also where you can reach down and pull your camera out. Same idea, it's just not a cube, okay? And you pull it out of the top. So it's just a little different arrangement with this company. This top folding deal right here, right here is where you put your ID or business card or whatever. This is a nice size, I think it'll hold a 15 inch laptop, let's find out. Mm. Yep, 15 inch laptop went right in there, no problem. That's super simple, zips up, snaps. Extra little pocket right here for whatever. Your wallet, your pot. All right, so this side is for probably a tripod. You just put it on and just strap the darn thing down. There's your tripod mounted right there. On this side, there's a little pocket right here. I don't think you could put water in here, and if there's any complaint about this bag at all, is that there is no place for a water bottle. But, I gotta say, for simplicity's sake, this is one of the best cam- and it's reasonably priced too. This is just one of the best bags out there. I mean, it's so simple and it works so nicely. It's thin, uh, but it holds everything. It's not heavy. It rides just really great. and. You know, I'd have no problem throwing this on and taking it on a motorcycle. So there's only two things that I don't love, and that's that there's no water bottle holder and there's no waist thing. And so it can bounce a little bit. But when you're walking like through the woods, like down the street or something like that, not a problem. That is the Hex brand Raven Medium DSLR pack. There's a large one. They have small ones. They have several different sizes. For videography, I mean, like, I take this to jujitsu, and I can do everything I need to, like, film jujitsu stuff. I just put my, you know, I'm using the tripod right now, or I put it on here. I just use my tripod and stick it in there, and I'm good to go. I got everything I need to do 4K video. It's pretty awesome. Number three, the Boundary Prima system. Now, let me tell you something. This thing's amazing, and if you just want like thick material that just seems impervious to damage, then this might be the bag for you. But let me say something, it is heavy. It's what might hold you back, and it's a little pricey. But my God, does this thing do a lot of stuff. First of all, it has these crazy magnetic clamps right here. You pull them like this to get them apart. And by the way, this is the only company that I know for sure is a Blue Sign company. Now, what's Blue Sign? Blue Sign is a company that is registered where it meets five different principles of sustainability. So it's pretty cool. So all these fabrics are that. So you have those that pop off like that. And then you unzip this guy. This is like a little safety thing. And you unzip this all the way like this. And you have huge amounts of room. Right now, I have like my headphone stuff in this bag, in this side rather. And then on this side, uh, I have uh, I just have my multi tool, which if it falls out, it's not a big deal because it's not going to go anywhere. But the headphones, I don't want the wires getting all wrapped up in here. One weak spot. I don't love this little elastic thing here. I don't think it's so great. I don't even really need it. I'm afraid stuff will get caught up in it, but it's fine. I don't hate it. Inside here is a little bag, and that is your camera bag. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But for right now, I'm going to show you a couple other things about this bag. This thing is so over the top. I added this to it, which is can be uh, for lots of things. I use it for my cell phone. And by the time you hook all this stuff like this, uh, it's pretty darn water resistant. And it's kind of like a Molly kind of system. 
uh, which if you're familiar with military stuff, it's kind of that style. It's not the actual Molly system. This does have a waist band on it. And this Velcro's off. It's a little bit of a pain to get off, but it, and you can hear it. Hear it. You unvelcro it, and that becomes a strap also for the little camera bag that's in here that I'm going to get into in just a minute. Let's go to the side. Water bottle or tripod. But conversely, you could do the tripod on the bottom here. So you can do both. So this is Wynn's big points for that. On the side here, just like the other two bags, well, the hex doesn't have it in the side, it has it in the top. But this guy has it on the side. And this is where you open it up and you can get to your camera bag. Now this camera bag is pretty amazing. And again, I'm still going to hold back for just a second because I want to show you some of these other areas. Um, this other area right here is where you put your laptop. And it will hold a 15-inch laptop. I've done it. Um, and it comes with this guy, which is a way of, you can put, you can put it in here, you can put your pens in here, um, you know, papers, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and it hooks into this section. It hooks right there. But then there's this too, so you could actually put your laptop there or you maybe a laptop and an iPad if you're like one of those kind of people that has everything. So there's a couple different ways to put it. I would say put your iPad in this and probably put the laptop in here. That's what I would probably do. I haven't carried either in it. And then this is a really super soft uh, thingy dingy pocket that you can put glasses in or uh, anything along that line. I got the extra keychain because I wanted the bigger one. Haven't switched my keys over to it yet. Both the one that comes with it and the one that I bought both fit on it. I'm just keeping them both in there for now. Uh, let's get into the camera bag part. This right here uh, is what snap. This is the bag snapping onto it, and in here you can put uh, whatever. Um, you could put a, a case with your cards in here, your batteries, your charger. Uh, I don't know if I put loose stuff in here, but uh, I have a rag in there for now. I mean, a cloth to wipe everything down. So this is like a real firm thing so that when you snap this case in, it's easy to snap in. You're not like going like this trying to get it to snap in. I'm going to open this up so you can see this. Peel this thing apart, fillet it like a fish, and here's your little camera bag. So you could take this little bag and, by the way, it has a comes with this so that you can uh, cordon off how where you want the camera to go. I just have it totally open because I have my big, huge Leica in here to shoot Lucy's birthday. You could just get just this little bag and kind of be happy with it. And it's got this secret little place right here. Right here. And that is where the straps go, which I'm going to show you in a second. You can put this in your belt, and they do have an accessory that allows you to put this through your belt if you want to do a butt pack style, or in the front. If you're running around in like these MC Hammer pants and a butt pack, that's weird. But if you're a photographer and you need to reach your stuff, it ain't weird at all. It's cool, and it's necessary, and shut up. I don't know if I'd put a tripod on here, but you could put a little one on here. I know my little guy that I keep showing you would go on here. Earlier, I showed you that this thing right here, this little strap deal, can you see it? You unvelcro it. Okay, I got it. So you simply snap one, I guess this way, one side. Put your camera in there. And you put your strap on, and you are a hipster. And you, you're cool. I mean, this, this works great as a camera bag. Just a small, run around town, kind of going into the Smithsonian Institute or something like that. Awesome. What if your camera's a little bit bigger, or you have more stuff? <laughs> There's this. It expands. And it expands pretty decently, too. I mean, 
that's another three and a half inches, another three inches. It's the difference between ooh and ah. <laughs> so there. That's uh, that's it fully expanded. That's a pretty darn cool bag, just on its own. So I'm gonna put this back together. Pop this off. Click that in. Good to go. And put your camera in there. So then you zip this guy up. Secure it here. And there it is. It is a fairly, not ridiculously heavy, but it is a heavier bag than the other two. One thing I wanted to point out about the Wander too. This is a roll top. Roll tops are very popular right now. Look at this. This thing can keep expanding. And this is the one advantage that this bag has over the other ones. It can be that much bigger. That's a huge amount of space. It looks a little weird when you're carrying it and this big thing is sticking out like this, but you can do it and it will carry it. And this roll top sort of prevents some water getting in. So there you have it. You have the boundary, you have the hex, and the wandered. And all three bags are really, really great bags. If you just want a simple, straight-ahead bag that you can just put your stuff in, it's really well protected, and just roll. No frills, pretty straight ahead. Throw your laptop in and do your thing. I would go with the Hex brand. I mean, it's just simple, and it's good looking. I'd say as far as versatility, there's nothing that beats this Boundary bag. It is just insane, and it's strong. Uh, there's so much stuff you can put in it. If you want something a little bit lighter and uh, it's a little more versatile, I would say the Wandered because you can take that cube out and it just becomes a regular backpack. Whereas the Hex is not going to become a regular backpack. The Boundary can be a regular backpack uh, without a problem, but it's heavy for everyday carry. Again, it's heavy because it's made of really thick material. But if you want to take this thing camping, it's got this rubber on the zippers where the water can't get in. I mean, it's this is a tough, tough bag to beat. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this. I typically don't do a lot of reviews on this channel. I want to know what you think about my reviews. When I go on tour, I probably am going to take this bag or or this I don't know which bag I would take depends on what camera I'm taking let's talk about cameras next time but for now take care of each other and keep rock alive